the Shred Shed Podcast. Yo, what up? This is Earl Shreds, boy. And Sydney Shreds. Ooh. And this is your number one podcast. For all things rock and roll, music, or just plain awesome. Y'all don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you got, at Earl Shreds. And don't forget to check out the website, www.earlshreds.com. Thank Everyone, before we get to this video, please be sure to check out the Patreon and EarlShreds.com. You can help support me at Patreon for as little as $2 a month. It helps me to continue make these videos, continue to make these podcasts, and most importantly, helps me fund the live shows. If you haven't checked out a live show, please go to EarlShreds.com and check out my schedule to see where I'm playing live. And if you want to see me play somewhere, please shoot me an email at Dalton at EarlShreds.com or a DM on any social media platforms and let me know where you want to see me play. Again, I thank you all for my support. And you can follow me and subscribe to me on Patreon for as little as $2 a month. I wish I said I had a millionaire baby daddy backer who was helping me, but if less, it is just lonely old me. I do do this for a living. So again, if you could check out the Patreon and be a super shredder, subscriber that would be awesome and it helps me to continue making this awesome content and also again check out earlshreds.com for the live schedule and also earlshreds.com for the awesome earl shreds merch that you can get customized and made to order sent directly to your house love you guys so much thank you always for the support enjoy the video it's been so long. There's something in here that's shocking me. Welcome to the Shred Shit. <laughs> the Shred Shit Podcast. It's been so long. We're doing another concert recap. Everybody that watched the episode. Aww. No way. Whoa. Dude, I don't remember where. Everybody that watched the episode with Zach, thank you guys so much. I killed it. And as always, please go check out the website. What website, you ask? The one and only website there is. Stop wasting your days on those dirty websites filled with no good, nothing material that's just melting your brain. We don't want it, guys. You don't need it. You guys can do better. To all the people that came to the live shows recently, especially to the Whiskey Barn, and all the people that come to the Whiskey Barn open mic, you guys fucking rock. It really just makes my freaking day. It makes me go, wowza. And that's why we do it, honestly. I just, if you're wondering where Sydney's at, well, something I needed to tell you guys about Sydney. She, um, let's just say, she, uh, she tripped down the stairs, if you know what I mean, and, uh, she stayed down the stairs. She's, uh, in the basement right now. We might let Sydney out, I don't know. She's exhausted from working in the fields all day. I just got her to start on a new 16 foot by 16 foot potato patch. And um, I have a shovel, but uh, I told her she could, just like our ancestors, do it with her hands. So you can imagine it takes a long time to really um, 
dig the appropriate space. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, she's she's back from the fields. I'll be in the fields. What's up, Sydney? What's up? What's up? What's up, Shawty? What's up, Tobes? We don't have a rug in here anymore because of you. I know. Doesn't it feel weird? Yeah. All I gotta do is. It feels a lot bigger. Rinse it. And bring her back. Wow. What? It's bright. Is it bright? Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm a fan. Should we do it in the dark? Yeah. We should do a dark only podcast. Just lights off. You can't see us. <laughs> yeah. I already started the podcast without you. Is that okay? I figured. It's I heard been, you talking. It's been incredibly boring. Ew. Your dog. My dog got best dog. Best behaved today. At the groomer. Oh. Promise? Mm -hmm. She got uh, best behaved and favorite pup. Aww. <laughs> Shout out to all the dogs. Shout out to my dog. Oh, all the dogs. No. Oops. Really? Okay. You don't love all the dogs? I love all dogs, yes. But I can't have them all. Nobody will let me. You want an ET phone home with me real quick? Psst. What's up? So. Why does it seem like whiter? Because I got rid of the neon sign. Oh, yeah. It's probably better for the lighting anyways. Yeah. I still feel like it's different. There's no rug and there's no neon sign. It is different. Yeah. I feel like there's something else. And it's been weeks since you've been in here. Mm, no. <laughs> Not really. So are you leaving the podcast? Is that what you're saying? No. I've been busy. When I get home, I don't want to do anything. I'm bringing my butt off at work. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Don't do that. Because you're really loud in my ears. I am? Yeah, so don't get loud or scrape. I'm not really loud. Stop. No, it's hurting my ears. My head hurts. <laughs> what are you talking about today? This is so sad. No, it's not. I'm going to drink my water. We're talking about what we what our podcast is about. What's our podcast about? Sheds. Yeah. I saw a good one at Lowe's the other day. Would you live in a shed? Mm-hmm. No shame in my game. I know. We should, yeah, like a... Buy some land and do a tiny house thing. You can't have three computer rooms in a tiny home. I can have three sheds? Mm-hmm. You can have a shed just for your computer room. And be nice and warm. Yeah, we could do multiple sheds and then make them in a... Just make a big porch in the middle and just have them, like, different sidewalks going off. A little bungalow. Damn, that'd be sick. In the air in a tree? Oh, a tree house bungalow. Yeah, remember tree, remember that tree building treehouse show? No. Oh yeah, it's yeah, like it was it? on HGTV. Yeah, it was like like dream treehouses, my dream home, treehouse <laughs> edition. <laughs> it was like um, Chip and Joanna Gaines, but in the trees. Yeah, I remember that. <sighs> Could That's you see cool. yourself being friends with Chip and Joanna Gaines? Before they bought uh, TLC, yeah. When they were still just, when they were still just cool, like Chip and Joanna. Now mm -hmm. they're mainstream and they bought everything in Waco. <laughs> they own Waco now. They do own Waco. And the the TLC network. Hey, that, that, was, that little knob. This one? No, the other one. This one? Yeah, turn it up a little bit. There you go. <sighs> and turn mine up a little bit. This one? Mm-hmm. Check. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now we're busting. Is that better? Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's better. Um, so. Uh, 
They had like 12 kids, so. Who? Chip and Joanna. And she makes like biscuits and it's stuff. It's weird they all look white, though. Uh, not really. Some of them look like her. It's weird that they're all half black. They're not. They're, they're <laughs> Japanese. Where do you think that came from? And he's like redheaded. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a little ginger boy. Dude, there's zero people on the TikTok live. That shit goes hard. I should get. I'll get off of it. I don't want to waste my battery. That's fine. I think it's just when, probably oversaturated today. You go What's off. your favorite live TikTok live content? The hamsters running on the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> that one and oh no, actually, the one I sent you the other day says my dream job. You didn't even watch it though. You don't watch anything I send you. In my defense, I get. I send it to 50. you in a text message, so get, not on TikTok. I get those too. Oh, okay. So mine don't matter. That's cool. Yeah, I did watch it though. No, I didn't because it said live stream. What was it? Okay, what was it? Um, it's a guy that has a like a little van, and he walks dogs on treadmills. They like run on his treadmills. Mm. And he just like goes live, and just the dogs just run on the little treadmills. That's his job. The gerbils are classic. Yeah, literally every other scroll was like the little hamsters on the wheels. <laughs> I wonder how much money those hamsters have made them. The hamsters get the money. They don't make the money for someone else. The hamsters don't get the money. They do. That's why they keep running. Um, hey, turn my knob to where your knob is at. I don't know where my knob's at. There you go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Is that better? Yeah, we're doing things. I'm talking through a potato. What's your favorite live? Mm. I feel like I have another favorite one. I hate the people. What the NPCs? Oh, I know. They're so weird. <laughs> Just freaks it's me out. The only one. The, <laughs> o- the only I already one know what you're going to say. Gl- the, soup, the glistenator. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> and there's one black girl that I like. <laughs> I see her all the time, too. Activating super gliz. <laughs> <laughs> super gliz activated. Puts his sunglasses on. <laughs> uh, the one that, the stupid girl that made it famous, I don't like her. Gang gang. Gang gang. Is that the, the black girl that does the chicken? But she's like, she's like foreign or like French black. Oh no. This girl wears like the like shower cap on her head, you know? Like oh. the satin cap. My new. Someone wants to join? <laughs> That's awkward. Your new favorite's what? My new worst. We should go multi guest on the point. <laughs> oh, went away. My new worst, least liked live is one that I've been seeing from these two, like young, this young couple, where it's like the inside joke is all about her ass, but they've tw- they twenty four seven stream. What do they do? Just talk. It's literally like. No, it's just basically to show off her ass. But the boyfriend's like, hey, honey, why do they keep talking about this in the comment? Like, he's in on it. But they, like, taped the phone to the ceiling, and they just leave it on. And then they taped it to their bathroom. (laughs) What? Yeah, it's really weird. I wish they wouldn't do that. I wish someone would tape it to their dog. I just see what the dog sees. I've seen that, yeah. Like. I've seen that where they tape it to the dog. Yeah, they do like a little GoPro on the dog's back. And they show that content. That's what I would watch. There was one where he taped it to his lawnmower. It had a robot lawnmower. Oh, that's cool. So the live stream was just his lawnmower mowing. I do love to mow. And I love fresh cut cut grass. Mm Mm-hmm. Exactly. (laughs) So, you know, we're going to concert review... What was the last concert you went to? We went to Tenacious D last week. Maybe we can lump in Metallica and Tenacious D. Let's do that. Because we kind of touched Metallica um, when we talked about Pantera. We actually did. We did a two-parter. Yeah, this is part two. No, we did a two-parter already. We did part one. I'm pretty sure we talked about both. No, we did part one the first night. Maybe we did two parts Pantera. Pantera Night 1, Pantera Night 2. No, we did part one. No. 
This is part two. What? Dude, somebody in the, some weirdo in the chat just said I have a nice cock. What the fuck? <laughs> Hey, moderators, get him out of here, guys. Get the, get him out of here. I can't really moderate on Facebook. Mod <laughs> get him out of here. Get that guy out of here. This is a this is um. I'm mad at him right now because I saw his comment about Def Leppard leaving after he left after three songs when we saw him in 2014. Why? Why are you mad at him? Because it's my favorite band. He said top three or worst three concerts he's been to, and Def Leppard was number three. <laughs> He said he left after three songs because they were very painfully lip syncing. Yeah, but he's slow. Oh, be nice to him. <laughs> Come on, you know that. <laughs> so. Yeah, he didn't even know his handler. Probably he probably wet himself. And <laughs> did you see what he shared though uh, about Ghost? The band. Yeah. No, I didn't. So they're like banning people from bringing uh, smartphones and smartwatches to their shows. Why? And if security catches you, they'll like make you escort you out because they want you to focus on them. And someone put in the comments, imagine listening to um, like um, like the I don't remember the whole comment, but basically like Scooby Doo chase music, and you're just checking the time on your phone, and you get kicked out. <laughs> I didn't realize like I've seen the guy like the front man of Ghost and he looks like he'd be like the it sings some pretty hard stuff. And I listened to some music the other day, I was like, this is not what I expected. Yeah, what do you think? It, so, it yeah. literally someone put it to a Scooby Doo like chase scene, like a cartoon scene of them being chased like by a monster, and it went so well. Yeah, Ghost sucks. Yeah, it but was what, not what I thought they were gonna sound like. Do you like. think they should ban? Oh, if you. Oh, that's what it said. Imagine paying like 150 bucks just to get kicked out of Scooby Doo Chase Music because you check your time. Nice, on your dude, phone. imagine paying 150 dollars to go see Ghost. Yeah, I wouldn't. I didn't even pay that much for our floor seats. At this. Well, I'll tell you what. If you see me live in concert, I want you on your phone the whole <laughs> performance. I want you on. I want you playing online games while I'm playing. <laughs> playing Candy Crush. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's like Miranda Lambert. Was that her? That got mad about the phone taking a picture? Dude, yeah. It's such boomer energy when you see boomers or, like, closeted boomers. They're like, I don't know. Go on dates. They didn't have cell phones on. I don't think she's a boomer, but. Not a cell phone inside. Um, anyways. <laughs> Stop doing that. It's loud. Um... Yeah, so let's talk about Metallica. <laughs> Alcoholica? Let's talk about Lars how Aholica? we we have four tickets. <laughs> Technically. It worth it. It was worth it. I bought nosebleed because I was just trying to be nice. Buy tickets for Dalton for his birthday. And we get there and decided we didn't want to sit in nosebleed, so we bought closer Yeah, tickets. I mean, I still wouldn't have gone if you didn't buy the tickets. I know. And you didn't buy them, the new upgrades, so it's like. That's true. But it's really like, honestly, you bought me for my birthday Section 1 tickets for the price of nosebleeds. But I also bought the tickets the night before, the hotel room. Yeah, except that. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, the tickets you bought were the same price as the ones I bought. Mm, I the, tickets to... I, the tickets I bought were $6,000 each. Oh, well, I paid seven. So. 7000 yeah. I paid eight. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Um. Dang, that was I've I've seen so many like positive things about that tour. It's still going on, isn't it? Yeah, you think Lars was faking it? No, do you? He definitely wasn't faking those faces he was <laughs> making. He was making some faces. Dang. Did you see where Miley Cyrus has been covering Metallica songs or like a bunch of songs like Billy Idol? She did a Metallica song the other day with uh. With all of them. And it was pretty good. Yeah. Have you saw it? No. Oh, it was good. I kind of like her. You kind of like Miley? She is the... Mm -hmm. It's not as Jay's... Jay's on my feet. I like that song. Jay's on my feet. She was so ratchet, though. Okay. She was so ratchet. She though. owned it. I mean, she didn't give a shit. No, so. she didn't own it. Um, Have you seen where they take... Uh, 
what's his name? Morgan Wallen and speed it up a little bit. And it's literally like Miley Cyrus singing. They're saying that like she sings his music. Morgan Wallen. <laughs> you think you think people are the they did that? Or it just sounds extremely similar. What? You think Miley Cyrus sings his songs and they slow them down for him? No, it's probably just like the same program. Probably. Probably. It does sound just like him, though. Yeah, it's, they're running, you know, they're running through the same studio, producers. Yeah. Spit it out the other end, we got a hit. Last night, we let him know. Can't you remember anything? I apparently, I mean, let's just say me and Morgan. Oh, gosh. Are you sad he cut his hair? I guess that's old news. No, I'm sad that... Uh, I didn't even know he did. I didn't get a signed drumstick from Lars Ulrich. True. You know he was a tennis star? I think you did tell me that. Wow. I wonder who he would be today if he stuck to tennis. <laughs> I, I mean, wonder if he regrets that decision. He'd be like a real estate agent or some shit. He looks like he would be a tennis player. No offense if you play tennis, but you do have a look. Mm-hmm. Why is pickleball such a big deal? It's, um... Like, I had never heard of it until, like, last year. Actually, the first I heard of it was Miss Pam, Ray's girlfriend, Pam. And she was pickleball it's queen. A, it's a low impact. It's lower impact. It's like ping pong without the table. Yeah, it's with the wall. You play with partners. Yeah, but it's on a wall. Oh. There's, like, a little net in between y'all. I guess you can play with a wall, but it's usually two and two. And you don't what is pickleball? It's like tennis, but the size of the court is much smaller. Oh, yeah. That's, and it's, it's a little paddle. Yeah, it's tennis for old people because the court's way smaller. But, like, it's like a whole, like, but movement tennis, now. I know because it's because people are generally unhealthy. And they don't like to run around the court. So that's why I don't but, play tennis. I mean, tennis, an actual size tennis court it's huge, yeah. is hard. Tennis I, is I hard. I played tennis when I was in, like, I didn't play for the school, but I played tennis when I was in high school. Yeah. It's uh, like a... Uh, and I hated it. Goal achieved. Goal achieved. I don't know what that means. Did Steve give us the tiny, diny goal? <gasps> tiny dinies. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It's the tiny, diny goal. So you hit a tiny, diny? Yes, of course. Thanks, Steve. Steve's the goat, though. I thought his name was Scott for a really long time. Because of, like, his username. He's nameless. He shall remain nameless. Oh, okay. Uh, but, yeah, like, pickleball is a whole movement now. Why is it just on me? Oh, sorry. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. We're talking about Lars playing tennis. Mm -mm. Favorite Metallica song, go. Mm. That was funny. Um, I, don't, um, I don't really know. From the belt holes, I don't know. Noob. My favorite is. Oh. <laughs> I think. Hang on. What do you? What's my? It's name? in my head. No, mine's in my head, but I can't think of it. Give me fuel, give me fire. Oh, fuel. That's yours? That's yours. No. <laughs> give me fuel, give me fire, give me some of them. What's yours? Mm. <laughs> my lifestyle determines my death style. <laughs> no. I'm about to look up names. Right? My lifestyle determines my death style. Um... Steve said, it's a game that orthopedic doctors love because all of the injuries. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Spoken like the man. I mean, my lifestyle does determine my death style, though. Yeah. Okay, favorite. Toby, stop. I'm trying to remember mine. Um. <laughs> oh, he's mad. Favorite Metallica album. Um, I do like Sad But True. But I know it's overplayed on the radio, but it's seeking destroy to you. Favorite album? Ride the Lightning. I like Master of Puppets. Oh, yeah, that too. Or like, is it the Black Album? Don't they have a Black Album? Mm-hmm. I like that one too. 
I like Load because it's just a picture of sperm on the album cover. <laughs> Which one is? Load. Oh. And Reload. Reload. It's yeah, just, that's what feels on. It's just on. nut. Yeah, it's just nut on the album cover. <laughs> wow. That's why so many metalheads got mad at them because they were like, why is the band that wrote Master of Puppets now their album has sperm on the front? That's hilarious. <laughs> Would you see Metallica again? Yes. Would you see Lars again? Oh, yeah. Would you let Lars tickle you? Uh, would you tickle Lars? I would tickle Lars. Would you tickle me while tickling Lars? I would let Kurt tickle me. Oh, you would? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'd let a lot of people tickle you. <laughs> I love Kurt. He's so cute. You think he like, do you think he's straight? Um, Is he confirmed? I don't know. I don't know. I need Let's to see. I, I thought he was married. I think he. I'm looking. The Unforgiven Two is the goaded. Oh yeah, true. Um, uh, spouse Lonnie Hammett. Oh wait, not anymore. Uh, Lonnie. wait, yeah, Rebecca first. Let me see for what three she looks years, like. and then now Lonnie. Let me see what she looks like. Oh, let's find Lonnie. Let see. <laughs> Oh, she's cute. Yeah, they fit together well. He's cuter. <laughs> He's prettier. Mm. Love you, Kirk. What a show. I know, that was awesome. I mean, but James has got it going on still. For being 60 plus. Oh, no, he looks tired. Wouldn't you be tired? No. I don't get tired. You're tired now. I'm not, no, I'm not. I you got are, six jobs. Are. I got six phones. I got two phones. No, I got six jobs. I don't get tired. <laughs> That's a song. I got six. Oh. I got six jobs. I don't get, get tired. I don't get tired. <laughs> that was a cute, man, there was a shitload of people at that concert, dude. Yeah, it was kind of overwhelming. It was insane. It, yeah, it was a little overwhelming. I wasn't. Vibing with that many people. Might be the biggest indoor concert I've ever been to. I think it was for me. For sure. Um, well, yeah, because that's the biggest, like that stadium holds the most if they open up the floor. Remember? We talked about that. Yeah. I looked it up. Because I was thinking maybe Paul McCartney was bigger show. Because it was at Minute Maid. No, that place was way bigger than Minute Maid. But they had the floor open too. But they did at Metallica, so... I wish someone would have came up and gave us snake pit tickets like they did on that TikTok. Some people were, didn't even know what it was. Especially with like the like how far your eyes are apart, like mine. <laughs> I would have thought they'd like they get a text right off they gave you. They're probably scared of you. Thought you were gonna <laughs> eat them. Exactly. That's why they should let me in the snake pit. Oh gosh. Dang. Yeah, that was a good show. Was it? Mm-hmm. What was your favorite part? Um, I don't know what mine was. I like when they, I think it was the bass player. I didn't think, that was Kirk, when they put him across the snake pit. And they walked him across. No, that was Robert. Oh, I always wonder what his name was. That was Roberto. I, knew, I had no clue. Yeah, Roberto. Oh, okay. Yeah, when they dropped the giant balls, that was. Oh, that was cool, yeah. And then they were just gone. Like, one minute they were there, and the next minute they were just gone. I know. There was people uh, in there that grabbed them and would, like, deflate them. Like, it was their job. I well, would take that job. What do you think it was like seeing them back in the day? I think about that at every show I go to, and it makes me sad. I know. We rarely ever go to a show where we don't see that. I think the one that hit me the hardest was when I went and saw Stevie Nicks. Like, I was just sitting there the whole time, like, first, first of all, feeling so blessed to be in her presence. Second of all, being so upset that I, had, I didn't get to see Fleetwood Mac. Like, didn't have Lindsey Buckingham or, um, shit, what's her name? Um, Any of them, it was just her. No, what's the one that just passed away? I can't, we, we, we couldn't remember this the other day. Anyways, like, just Fleetwood Mac in general, like, seeing them all together. I think, um. It's a very emotional show for me. Tiny Tim. That's I want to see the. 
<laughs> That's all? Yeah, if I could see them. Steve said, which guitar do you save in a fire? Like the ones in here or just in general? James Hetfield, White Explorer. <laughs> the eat fuck one? Yeah. But in here. Oh. All, out of all my guitars, not just even the ones in here. I would save Austin's bass. I mean, I guess that's not yours, it's mine, but. I'd let them all burn. I wouldn't let Austin's burn. I'd let them all burn. <laughs> um, Throw the dog in there, too. I'd let them all burn, Steve. <laughs> out of yours? <coughs> your Explorer. <coughs> Sick. Actually, no, probably your Strat. <coughs> the gold one. Mm. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> that's what happens. What? It's first sign. Of what? The C word. AIDS? C word. Fuck. Cancer? <coughs> <coughs> that's the one. <coughs> I've had a tickle in my throat. For what? The past three years? <laughs> no, since I met you. <laughs> the past three years. <laughs> I think it's like, I think it's herpes or something. Ew. Right? It's not funny. I know. <laughs> it's a serious. Okay, know. what guitar would you save? <laughs> I'd, just, I'd let them all burn and oh, then collect nice. the ashes and make one guitar out of all of them. Out of a pile of ashes? Yes. <laughs> and when I'd infuse them, I would let all of them burn, collect the ashes. Toby would burn too. Like That's so sad. It is sad. But he wouldn't I, burn. He all his hair would be gone. He'd come out like a little <laughs> naked dog. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like a little cartoon. Little black squigglies come out. Yeah. Pink. <laughs> he is pink when he's hairless. <laughs> I know. He needs a haircut. Take him to Petco. Yeah, but then sprinkle the ashes and make the ultimate guitar. Mm, yeah. Then write my magnum opus, <clears throat> and sail away to an island. Hmm. Never to be heard from again. I need a cough button. Can you tell the producer to get me a fucking cough button? Button. And tell my manager to rub my feet. Toby, get over here. Jeez. Golly, it's tough out here. It's hard to find good help. What about how... I want to talk about Tenacious D. That was fun. Well, we got to talk about Metallica, though. What do you think about, about Fort Worth or Arlington? Um, I had an opportunity to play volleyball there, and I did not go because it was so Dallas. You have ultimate godlike power. <clears throat> Do you send the asteroid to Arlington or divert it? Um, straight to straight Dallas. Out, straight. Well, I mean, it's gonna if it's gonna hit Dallas. It's gonna hit. Yeah. So you're. It's gone. Yeah. It is kind of a douchey place. It's dirty. It's not Dallas. It is dirty. Arlington is. Arlington's better than Dallas, though. Hey, 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 Steve's from Dallas. Sorry, Steve. Dallas is all right. I had an opportunity to go to school there, and I didn't go. I I am a Cowboys fan, though, so. Couldn't pass the multiplication test? No, I didn't want to go to Dallas. Oh. They asked me to play volleyball and basketball. Do you have to be able to read to go? <laughs> <laughs> they were, like, uh, like the, t the top, the... Third highest ranked academic, like academically, like the, at a universities that were like the third. Really? Yeah. Uh, it, uh, they had to have been in their own category. Uh, you're telling me. We I, didn't have a football team. It was a. They, you're telling me. They, I, they, you know what their number one team was? Chess. You're telling me out of Yale, Camp, Cambridge, Berkeley. Those are, those are Ivy Leagues. Okay. So they, not, you're, not, you're not including them. No. Okay. I was like. Absolutely not. In, like, Texas. So what was it, like, the best college in the 50, Texas. 50 square? Texas. <laughs> it was UT Dallas. UT Dallas? Yeah. I've told you that before. I thought that was a prison. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, this is, would not be fun. I went and visited. And it was Saw a lot of Rangers fans, a lot of white people. Oh, yeah. A lot of white people. Going to the Rangers game, yeah. Or everywhere. I mean, it was a whole lot of whites. <laughs> whole lot of whites. Anyways. So we're going to go see them again? If they come back, yeah. They're still on the 72 Seasons tour. 
That probably, what does that mean? That means they're going on tour for like three years. That's the name of the album. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but that might be, I don't know. Damn. Why they just do the same tour for three years? What do you think James is doing right now? Um, it's 7.04. Probably slicking his hair back for the show later. He's just slicking his hair back, looking in the mirror going, yeah! <laughs> give me a few, give me five. Like, James, are you ready for catering? Yeah! <laughs> are you ready for a nap? <laughs> yeah, yeah! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Lars is going. I mean, I don't have a long tongue, but it's so like um, uh, like a um. <laughs> Such a goof. He's a little Dutch prick. That's what he is. Is he Dutch? I didn't know that. He's born there. I don't even. Th- yeah, he's from like the Netherlands. I think he's from the Netherlands. Oh, wow. My people. <laughs> yeah, your people whites. <laughs> I mean, they're tall and white. <laughs> I think we're under EMP attack. I just saw a surge. Uh-oh. So Metallica was sick. Yeah. We let too much time. We're not motivated about the concert like we were, but it was sick. Yeah, we Certif- were- Shred Shed certified? Oh, yeah. If you haven't had a chance to go see them, put them on your list. They were on my bucket list, and now I get to check that one off. What? Let's do a concert review um, from D's Irish Tavern. No. My concert. Why not? Oh, yours was good, yeah. That was a good show. I enjoyed it. I loved, like, the, what was it, 40 minute set? That was awesome. It was good. It was like boom, 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 boom. Sounded good. High energy. Left it all on the table. As it should be. As it should. I'm tired. No, no more three hour sets. No, not at all. Nope. Just wait, dude. The next song's going to be sick, but as soon as. <laughs> As soon as we have <clears throat> an hour's worth of original music. Well, yeah, that's different. No yeah. more covers, except maybe one. If we played only one cover, what would the cover be? Um, Texas Flood or Voodoo Child. Just because of the guitar. We do do a pretty good Voodoo Child. I do do. I do do. <laughs> I sing it pretty well, and I play the guitar on it pretty well. And I like the little breakdown, like, where it's just uh, Ethan and Nathan, too, where Ethan just gets to jam out. With his little pedal. During that song or just when Just he does like it? when they does. Like oh, yeah. Little, like, I love watching that. It sounds good, too. Dude, just wait. We're going to get Tyler and me. We thought if we can ever get to the point, we're going to get Ethan and Nathan to do that, their little jam. Mm-hmm. And then I want to get, like, Tyler's going to be in, like, a robot suit. I want to be in a, siren, a samurai suit. <laughs> and while they're jamming, we're going to come on stage and battle. Wow. Robot versus... Samurai. Samurai. Ninjas and robots. (laughs) Wow. Your E fell off your croc. It says, what a bab. Instead of what a babe. Dude, not my gibbet. Look, it looks like Toby has a unibrow. Oop. (laughs) It's funny. So speaking of robots, we did get to see the probot. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, the probot. You're not a real... have you ever listened to the Probot album? Yeah, I did. The Probot album? That was, remember, the Probot came on us. Yes, I know. It was sick. <laughs> it was. You saw his Probot. Yeah. I know. And then the little devil popped up later. Oops. I'm the devil. I love metal. <laughs> Check this riff. It's <laughs> fucking tasty. <laughs> uh, that was one of my most favorite shows I've been to. It was definitely a unique show. Yes. I, but like Jack Black is one of my like favorite people of all time. So just to see him come out on stage and he gave gives the same energy as you would expect. Like J- Yeah, Jables. Yeah, like how you see him in School of Rock and Tenacious D, or I guess Pick a Destiny. Uh, all of the, yeah, same energy. And I was here for it. Yeah, and get and Jables and... Uh, Cage. Yeah, Cage. KG. It was good to see Cage. KG. He looked good. Yeah. Um, I saw my friend Dallas there, remember? He walked by, I was on the phone talking to Hannah. And then Dallas walked by and, like, poked him on the shoulder and I gave him a hug. 
And then like later in the night, we saw a guy with a Miller Lite sign, but we didn't know what the sign said. We just know it was a Miller Lite box that we, he cut up into a sign. And then the next day I was on Instagram and he, Dallas was holding, like it was cut in a very unique shape, like this shape of Oklahoma, you know? And uh, anyways, he was holding the sign and he posted it. And I was like, that was you with that Miller Lite sign? He's like, yeah. And then I look like on his story and Tenacious D like reposted it. Like, cause it said, uh, Jack, marry me, Jack Black or something. I was like, that was you. You were in front of us. And we were like talking about this person with the Miller Lite sign the whole time. He's like, yeah, that was me. And they told, they Dude. told him he had to throw it away when he walked in the door Aww. and he just kept walking. Yeah. Come on, Jables. <laughs> Dude, remember that dude that was standing behind us and just kept going, kiss. Yeah, she was kiss. <laughs> <laughs> he kept going, Jables, kiss him. <laughs> You know, uh, when Jack Black read Dallas' sign, he said, sorry, dude, I'm already married. Or something like Aww, that. Oh, poor Dallas. I know. That'd be a cute couple. It was packed. Yeah. I'd never been to a show outside at White Oak, but it was a lot more people than I expected. I did not think it was going to be that packed. No? Because I bought those tickets like the day they went on sale, and I didn't think that they would be sold out. You know what did sell out? What? Within like five minutes, and I got tickets. Foo Fighters. You got the you got those tickets? Mm-hmm. But you can't go. Why? Because you have a show. But I can go. You told me I could. You said I can't go, but you should. Yeah, you're go. gonna go with another dude. I'm gonna go with Zach, because <laughs> he couldn't get tickets. Damn. <laughs> so I told him he could. What's my show? Uh, at a beach house. Oh. I'm the devil. I love metal. Dun, 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 dun. What was your favorite song? That one? The Hustle Boss? Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, probably so. Yeah. That is one of my favorite songs. A lot of anime type people. Yeah. A lot of nerds. I wish I... Was. I ordered a shirt online because I didn't want to wait in the mm. actual line. That was ridiculous. That was almost as bad as Metallica. Seemed like they were a little understaffed. Yeah. That's yeah. cool that it's like a hill, though. Yeah, but it's fucking weird. It is weird. I don't like it's like smushed. I don't like the sidewalk that we stood on. I guess if you sand on it. I was about good. to say it was fine until people started falling off of it. I was like, I will not. Yeah, off I, st of this sidewalk. I stood my ground like a mofo. On that I got one. elbowed so many times. It was not fun. I think people were triple dipping too. Triple dipping? Well, like, like somebody's trying to stick their finger in my booty. Ooh. And then I saw them smell it. Ew. <laughs> it was, oh, we made a new friend that night. Remember? Yeah, and I texted him, and he, I think they gave us the wrong number. Or I either Aww. took it down or wrong. Because I texted him, I said, nice meeting you, and then said, undelivered. Oh man. He so was, He was very nice. Unnamed homie we met at the show. We. Dang. Yeah, he, he had on a banana shirt, and he stood next to us the whole time. And his name was Dallas, too. Could have been a future Patreon <laughs> subscriber. Yeah, his name was Dallas, and I noticed, I literally said, of course you would stand next to the guy in the banana shirt. You gravitate towards that. And he stood there the whole time. And by the end of the night, I was like, were you here by yourself? And he was like, yeah, I was supposed to come with two friends. They bailed, but I I couldn't, like, go on without coming to this show. He's like, I, I didn't want him to go to waste, and I just really didn't want to miss it, so I came alone. Shout out to the people that go to concerts alone. Yeah, that's takes some guts. I do it all the time when you don't come to mine. I just have to perform. How many have I well, missed? Well, you're here. Well, you're running the streets. How many shows have I missed? 43? No. Three. Six hundred. Three. Seven thousand. And open mic doesn't count. Open mic counts. Every day Okay, I missed three. Every, one, be, one because I had eye surgery. Every, not, that's a terrible excuse. <laughs> okay. Every day you're every day you're not with me and out there in the streets. I'm I'm at work every day, so I'm not with you. The streets. You. I've yeah. seen your job. Sorry, I gotta have a paycheck. No, you don't. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with the unhoused. You could be unhoused. We could be unhoused. Might be. You think so? Yeah, you and Toby about to live on the streets. Oh, he already looks homeless. Toby. Yeah, you, Toby, and Tabby. Tussie. Oh, I'm not, peas no. in a pod. No, you can. I'm not taking Tabby. If I, 
Probably would take Toby. Yeah, he looks like a homeless dog. Tussie. Toby. Except he's very... Annoying? High maintenance. Let's, what dog would you eat first? <laughs> I eat first? Okay, yeah. End of the world situation. What animal? Because the only thing that would be left to eat are domestic animals. You. Like people's pets. That's, no, once animals are gone. But what I'll animal? I eat a cow. Then that. Okay, between end of the world, you're going to eat somebody's Pet bird, bird, cat, or dog first. Bird. Even if it's like a little pretty, like parakeet. Yeah. Okay, so then. Yeah, because it'd probably just sit there and mock me all the time. Okay, so you can eat the bird first, probably, yeah. yeah. And then cat, because Chinese food. And then cat. Yeah, and then the dog's just and my companion. We sh we starve together. Do you eat dog before human? No. Or human before dog? Humans suck, so. Human. Mm hmm. Probably. Do you eat horse or dog? Horse. Hor I heard. That's they, normal in other countries. I know. They, I heard horse is a good meat. Although, I don't know. I probably couldn't eat it because I'd want to ride it. Like, I want it to be my You could ride it, then eat it. All right, no. settle down, girl. Start carving her up right there. No, I don't think I could kill any animal. Okay, so to continue on this, end of the world situation, where do we go? Where, where's the first place? City. Not anywhere metropolitan. I'll go somewhere very rural. Mount Bellevue? No. <laughs> Last place I'd go. Devers? I'd go to Devers. I'd go to Devers, yeah. Hey, I heard uh, that like 10 minutes right next to New Caney, there's like a. There, somebody bought a development where you don't have to. They're like selling homes specifically for people without an immigration card. What? Like uh, right up here. Is that legal? I don't think it is. Oh, I don't have an immigration card. Do I get to go? <laughs> no. Oh. You belong to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I own you. <laughs> Can I have my slave card? Mm -mm. Tenacity was sick. Yeah, I, like seeing Jack Black live was awesome. His little outfit was cute. He had like a matching shorts and t-shirt set. He looked like my favorite uncle. Yeah, like the cool uncle. Mm-hmm. His hair was crazy. They, they were funny. Like the sound guy kept coming out and they were making fun of him because he couldn't get the um, flames yeah. to work. Yeah, yeah, the giant button with the flame. <laughs> yeah. It would just like randomly go off. Remember the light, the light solo? <laughs> Everybody got a solo, including the light sick. guy. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty that good. That was sick, dude. <laughs> Shout out to the light guy, dude. A light that's a legendary move. Light solo. <laughs> light solo is not light show. Light solo. Light solo. And then literally the music stopped. <laughs> that was really funny. That's hilarious. That was the best part of the show. Yeah. Light solo. They said a lot of funny shit. Yeah, they're my dream. They're kind of remind me of my or I guess they're pretty big influence on me, especially if you see me alive. Mate. I was about to say, like, I could see you doing it, like, that can be in your whole shtick. I guess it kind of is. Yeah, it is. That's it's Saturday at the Whiskey Barn, I went, who here loves the appetizer trio? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was like, woo. <laughs> well, this is not chili. Yeah, I get, that was when I said You know that. what I got? Shelby's birthday was on Sunday, and I took her to lunch on Monday, and I got the trio. Oh, that sounds so What's good. it called? The Triple Dipper. That's what I got for lunch. So good, dude. Chili's, please. I'm so broke. I can't even afford to go to Chili's, but please support me. <laughs> I love the triple dipper. What if you got a lifetime triple dipper? What are your three? Mm, I'll tell you mine. What are yours? Southwest egg rolls, big mouth bites, honey chipotle chicken crispers. What are the big mouth bites? The, the little burgers? sliders, yeah. Oh, okay. Mine are Southwest egg rolls. Southwest egg rolls and Southwest egg rolls. Yeah, it's triple dip. <laughs> no, I do Southwest egg rolls. Dillas. Boneless buffalo wings. Oh. And the quesadillas. Yeah. That's a bus and trio right there. Yeah, dude. mine's better, but yeah. No, yours is basic as basic female. Not. I that's got the honey chipotle yeah. chicken crispers, though. When I said that at the whiskey bar and all. Four of the women in that crowd <laughs> literally look all the all you basic people. They were like, "Oh my god, I love the chilies!" 
I do love chilies. That girl that was with that dude that was sitting behind you at the whiskey barn. Okay. That was the moment she became a fan. The girl, the dude. The, the nice, they sat the whole, during the whole show and the dude was yelling things. Oh, the girl I used to play volleyball with? Yeah, you know yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. It's, when I said that, it's, she became a fan. Yeah. <laughs> they were having fun. Yeah, yeah, he suggested Oasis. He's like, play Wonderwall. Yeah, thank you. Hey, thank you all for the encouragement, too, because they, they were like, fuck all these other people. They don't want to listen to y'all. Like, they don't like good music. And I was like, yeah. thank you. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good show. Take me out to, take me to Chili. <laughs> Yeah, imagine a hosier cover by Chili's. Take me to Chili's. I'm, I'm with the triple dip. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? how does that song go? Get the egg rolls in and the bone with buffalo wings. No. Take um, <laughs> sell with egg rolls. That's remember that that was how I picked you up. I said, Hey no. baby, you want to see my Southwest egg roll? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> remember that? No, I don't remember that. Oh. Yeah, no, it's not. Oh, that, yeah, it was somebody else. Yeah, it was not me. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> that was the... The other one. <laughs> hey, you want to see my Southwest egg roll? No. <laughs> no, no, I said you want to see my Gulf Coast egg roll. <laughs> no, <what>? <laughs> No. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> I, for sure, you maybe... You want to see GNR next week? I gotta make money. I don't know. <laughs> I need to know ASAP. I just don't want to say no because you're gonna leave me. <laughs> yeah, for Thursday night. I'm not missing that. Just to I, go to the whiskey barn look, for open mic. Look, I could, you don't need to go. Look. Here. No, I'm going. I'm gonna see Slash. No, look, you don't. I didn't get to see Slash last time. You don't need Slash. Listen. I do. Wow. I should have just paid hundreds of dollars to see you instead. Oh, but Slash wouldn't miss that. I wasn't. That's how was it actually originally played. Oh, was it? Yeah, that's well when I wrote it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see, see that Asian dude. She got smiling like a booty sea. Remind me of no, childhood stop. memory. I always just think of Step Brothers. And. I think I know Pay. I didn't realize that song was recorded with three acoustic guitars, Axel's voice, and Axel's whistle. That's it. Did you know that? That's all that they used to record that song. It doesn't have drums? Hmm. Yeah, wow. That's a cover song, isn't it? No, they wrote that song because it's like completely different than everything that they have. I know it's a, all I need is just, just a little patience. Sit woman, take it slow. I do like it's one of my favorite songs. Work itself on. All we need is just a little patience. Oh, patience. <laughs> I like, uh, oh, you know, when I saw him in 2016, you know what the best song of the night was? What? November Rain. He played it on the piano, his white grand piano. So good. Yeah, I know. It's a hard song to sing, too. I have a feeling it's not going to be as good as it was in 2016. That's why I'm kind of like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I mean, want to see Slash. I didn't get to see him yeah. then. Because right now, the image I have 
<laughs> is GNR live in 87 at the oh, Ritz. Right. So, are you talking about skinny or flat haired, straight haired Axel? Yeah, and I kind of don't want to ruin that. You weren't there. You don't know. I'm excited. Um, you know who's opening for him? Who? Allison Chains. With um. I don't know. Did you know that? They just announced that pretty recently. It wasn't supposed to be them originally. This is the next song. You want to hear it? It's that E minor reggae that we got. But you like the chorus. On a dark desert highway. <laughs> Sounds like Hotel California. I guess because of the minor. Beachy. Oh, when I saw you standing. No, don't there. do that. I don't like that in my you headphones. You are so beautiful. I don't like that in my headphones. You don't have to Stop. stay. Here. I don't like that in my headphones. Shut. You don't like that. No. You don't like that. No. If I don't like something, you should probably stop doing it. It's not nice. If you don't like something, it's better. You should probably stop doing it. And that's not very nice. <laughs> All your literal songs. <laughs> Went to get the chilies at Trio. Triple Dipper. That's not very nice. And let's have some fried rice. I was going to say chicken and rice, but that's okay. Chicken and rice. Because I'm white. Because I'm white. <laughs> Why well, I'm good. White people talk good, nah. <laughs> I'm going to, going to grocery store to get tacos and for the taco night and the beef for the tacos. It's hot in here. I need a break. Okay, but one more time for the podcast. You ready? What? Give me. Give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me some of that. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, uh, what time is it? Seven twenty-seven. What time, uh, Pacific time. I don't want our time. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Next time you ask somebody what time it is, <laughs> and not, they tell you, be like, I want to know what time it is in New York, dumb pug. Yeah. That's not Pacific, is it? Pacific? Yeah. Pacifically. No, <laughs> Pacific. Not specific. I thought that's what you meant when you said that, though. Like, I want the Pacific time. Like, specific. Yeah, exactly. I thought that was, like, what's it? Like, Eastern time. Oh. Oops. That was my face. Oopsies. Well, um, come to... Backyard Bar and Grill, Saturday. Bean Pain, Bean Pain wants his baby bag. Baby back, baby backs. Okay, I've been tr sitting here trying to think about the song for Chili's, and that's it. Baby back ribs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Chili's, baby back ribs. Yeah, it's a Chili. Oh my gosh. I do love Chili's. I want my baby back, baby back. We have so many like Chili's items, me and Shelby. Like the shaker from Chili's. We have the drink booklet from Chili's. All, you remember when you get skillet queso, the little skillet, and it used to have like the little chilies, like pot handle holder? We had like six or seven of those. Oh my gosh, <laughs> dude. That's probably why they stopped doing them. We got, we have so, like drink glasses. We used to <laughs> just take everything from I'm chilies. Gonna, I'm clipping that and sending it to chilies. <laughs> you don't know which chilies they went to. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> and that you, was a long time ago. If you steal from chilies, you steal from America. <laughs> Chili's probably just would give it away if you asked them. Give it away. See, you were thinking that, and I was thinking, just give it away. Ain't nothing in this hell I know. Although I like, give it away, give it away, give it away. Give it away. 
so yeah, come to the shows, come to all the things. Backyard Barn Grill, the Degenerates will be opening. It's mm -hmm. also going to be Darren's B Day. I also just found out my show at Big X Barn Grill on October. Sixth, seventh. Seventh? So Saturday? I don't know. I'll tell you. I think it's, it's I thought it was like the 21st. Oh, yeah. Um, yep, 21st. October 21st, I just found out that they're, that's also the day they're doing the Oktoberfest, and I'm the headlining band. Oh. That's cool. They're trying to. They're look, we're looking for a polka band to open the show up, and then another opener for me. So <laughs> that's cool. Or they could just scrub the other ones and just have the polka band headline, and I'll open for them. I was about to say, like, I, I've seen like some like punk polka bands. That's cool. I want Lederhosen. I want Authentic. Oh, oh yeah, that's cool. Dang, that's awesome. <laughs> Sydney will wear her Waffen SS uniform that she keeps in her closet. No, I won't. Not at all. Yeah. That's cool. Toberfest. 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 Said I'm the headliner of Oktoberfest, so that'd be sick. Wow. We just went about to get the next single mastered. I mean, Nighttime's the right time. Yeah, I'm excited to get that one out for the people. And we got the other one wrote. We're going to go record it in like three weeks. Yeah. So it, nothing but gang activity. Gang gang. Gang gang. Gang gang. Um, gang gang. Gang gang. If you're not doing anything Friday night, JT Reserve will be playing at the Whiskey Barn. Might be there. Yeah, so go check them out. Pretty good band. From pretty cool town. Check out Taco and Soft Taco. Check out Taco and Soft Taco. But Saturday, Backyard Bar and Grill in Crosby. The Degenerates will be opening for Earl Shreds. That should be a sure fun time. Um, and for sure, dude. If you're in the heavy haul business, <laughs> no. you're afraid. No. I'll, I'll be no. at Break Bulk next week no, at George no. R. Brown no, all no, week. Come by, not. come by booth J48. Totally come get you a free no. koozie. <laughs> uh, they, they got me. If you're going to speak their name, they need to pay me. I know they got money. I didn't say the name. I just said the booth mm. number. No. no, no, don't do that. We'll also have free sunscreen. We have a little bottle of sunscreen <laughs> with little carabiners. It's worth getting the carabiner. Carabiner. Yeah. Oops. Sorry, guys. Rock on. Peace out. Wow. Hold on. Say something else. Say something profound. Something profound. <laughs> dirt. I need I to do. do a little derpy on a flow. Don't squish the. <gasps> what? Nothing. Oh. Your headphones off? My mom just said, Guess who has big girl Wi Fi? <laughs> she got Wi Fi. Well, no more dial up? Shut up. No, she has a little Verizon box. <laughs> 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 Sorry, guys. Bye. 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 If you want to check out more podcast videos, studio footage, live footage, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure you're subscribed to YouTube Earl Shreds, YouTube Shred Shred Clips, and YouTube Shred Shed Podcast for full podcast video episodes. And be sure to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, whatever you got. Love you guys so much. Please hit the subscribe button.